What's up everyone? What's up? What's up? I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week guys and welcome to another Free Friday recap. I will recap the trade that I took on Thursday guys that will be on this KOSS and I'm, you know, I'm saying with great, great uh, gratitude what a week it has been guys. If you come prepared, if you know what you're looking for, you will get it even though seeing all of these names flying left and right staying calm in the midst of the storm is very important and wait for those setups that you know best and then the results will appear guys um before i get started i want to ask everyone of course to hit the like button and also do not forget i got a 20 percent discount on my video guide guys that's the three hour long video guide where i explain my setups my long and short setups it's basically my playbook guys if you are interested in that just send me a message and uh hop in the free public discord room the link will be in the description go in there say hi star and i will uh, reach out to you all right and uh yeah let's get into the uh trade from yesterday guys koss look at that daily chart guys and i just want to say you know it's it's been a pretty weird week with, with the things that has been going on, you know, GME, GME, by the way, if you missed my other free recap that I did on Monday because of Friday, I didn't trade, you know, I thought GME was the record. Well, at least it was the record on Monday, you know, $53 a share in profits on that one on the short side. And, you know, I was thinking, you know, th this is a one in a lifetime, you no know, 53 bucks a share. Not sure if I can top that, and you know, again I, I mentioned you know Tuesday it's a new day we get to do it all over again refresh reset focus on those setups you know best bat for those singles and then the home run will appear and throughout the week I took a couple of trades here and there I stayed pretty uh, uh, you know pretty in my lane if you want to say that batting for those singles and then again here KOSS um, so let's get into the recap right now guys so on uh on wednesday of course it had this this vwap reclaim it started to hold with higher lows and finally breaking here uh, uh over 60 bucks and then yesterday guys we had this gap up i believe the gap was around uh just over 100 percent here which is nice it popped over that 100 and you know it went to 174 and if you look at that daily chart guys you know uh, yeah, I'm going to say very safely because I don't want to be the next <laughs> target of uh, Wall Street bets. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a shitty, shitty chart. And to me, that's a shitty company, you know, if, if the chart looks like this. So, of course, I'm going to be short biased. And with this gap and extension that it had, you know, I was just waiting for the right setup, waiting for the opportunity to strike. And it finally happened. Unfortunately... Uh, from the highs in the pre-market, if you look at the one-minute chart, guys, if you look here from the 174, so tap on that view up here, lower high, another tap, lower high, finally here, breaking it on the third time. You know, this is basically that support, and if you look at it, you know, that VWAP is holding that support as well, basically showing some support there, and then it faded, and then it tried to do this little pattern here with a higher low. Did not have much juice to reach the view up and fade it. And at the open, I was watching it. I was like, okay, uh, you know, I hope it doesn't fade right away and actually give some sort of opportunity to get in if the setup is there, of course. And it did it. It popped over that VWAP. It came back under it and it started to do a little bit of a consolidation under that VWAP, you know, tapping on that VWAP and then finally gave it VWAP reject for me to get in short. I got in the 101s here. And it halted down, and basically after that, it was just a halt fest. And uh, I got some covers in the, uh, I believe, in the low 80s, in the low 60s, and uh, again down in the uh, 30s. And I was done with it. And after that, it was pretty much sideways action. And again, you know, the biggest day as you can see here, uh, 73 bucks a share in profits. That's insane, you know, that in, in my 10 years in the stock market, I haven't seen anything like this. So for everything, there will be a first time, I'm sure of it. 
But again, as I mentioned with GME, the trade earlier this week, you know, reset, refocus, bat for those singles. Today's Friday. It's a fresh day, the end of the week. Make sure to, again, focus on those setups, slow and steady, and the home run trade will appear once it will appear. But uh, again, pretty amazing week here, guys. I hope everyone had a wonderful week as well. I hope everyone stayed safe, you know, not following the herd, uh, you know, not having that whole mentality. Again, that's not trading for me. I am a momentum trader, guys. I'm in and out, you know, I'm, 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 I'm short mostly of the time, but it's not because I hate the companies or whatever. It's just because of the charts. I let charts speak to me. I don't even know what KOSS does or GME. Yeah, of course, GME, I know it because people are circulating the name, but, you know, 99% of the times, I don't even know what the company does. And I'm just here for the price action, taking my breadcrumbs and, and run away with it. All right, guys, that's a recap for today. Again, as I mentioned, you know, let's close out the week strong. Uh, you know, be safe, be careful, do not hold. And most important of all, guys, risk management is key. Make sure to have a plan. Make sure to know your stop. Before you even enter the trade, guys, that is so, so important, you know, knowing where to stop out. So, you know, you don't get stuck like a deer in the headlights. For example, if, if this trade would have gone south, you know, I would definitely uh, uh, stopping out because I know where my stop is. My stop would have been just over the previous lower high, just over that view up as always. And I'll just get out and I'll reset and refocus if there will be a new setup. But oftentimes, you know, if the stock would have popped over this and squeezed higher, you know, a lot of shorts uh, get bent that way. I got bent that way in my earlier days. But again, risk management is key. Remember that, guys. All right, that's it for the recap. I'll see you in the room. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Again, there's a 20% discount on my three-hour long video guide. Uh, if you want to have access to that, send me a message. Hop in the public Discord, which is free. The link is in below in the description. Say hi, Star, and I'll reach out to you. And otherwise, do not forget to check out, of course, our uh, scanner channel. If you want to have access to the private Discord room for just $39.99 bucks and 99 cents a month, use the link precisionadaytrading.com, which is also posted in the description, guys. Uh, in that room, we offer live screen share, the live CI scanner, guys. And also the live commentary as well as the live alerts and as well as the video, uh, I mean the uh, trading education. The video lessons are posted in there every every week from our other moderator and me as well. Alright guys, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the room in a bit.